Are you struggling with aim and accuracy in your shooting? Does it feel like your eye drifts toward different directions harming your sight? There is a simple science back technique which can easily identify if you have an eye dominance problem. Hi everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to test eye dominance and how it can impact your sight in shooting activities. Let's get started. Eye dominance is an important concept to consider when engaging in any sort of shooting activity. Eye dominance affects the way a person lines up their sights for shooting. An example of an eye dominance issue is when the shooter's left eye is dominant but the rifle is held in their right hand. In this case, the shooter's dominant eye is not aligned with the sights. Understanding how your eyes work can ensure that your shooting is precise and accurate. So what is eye dominance? When a shooter is using their eyes to focus on a target, the eye that is dominant is the one that the person relies on more heavily than the other. Eye dominance can also be referred to as ocular dominance, eye hand dominance, or as gun dominance. Each person's eyes can be significantly different than one another. Identifying the dominant eye can be done through several different tests. One of the most simple and probably the most accurate is the MILES test. Here's how it works. Step 1. Put your hands together, making triangle shape directly in front of your eyes. Step 2. Close your left eye so that only your right eye is open. Step 3. Look through the triangle with your right eye and focus on a distant object. Step 4. Slowly move your hands apart. If the object shows any shift in where it is being viewed from, the dominant eye has been identified. Alternatively, you can do a pistol point test. This test is similar to the miles test but with a slight twist. Step 1. Have a friend point a pistol towards you at a distance of 3 feet. Step 2. Put your hands together making a triangle shape directly in front of your eyes. Step 3. Close your left eye and focus on the pistol with your right eye. Step 4. Slowly move your hands apart. If the pistol remains pointing at your right eye, that means your right eye is dominant. It is also possible to do a cover test to identify your dominant eye. Here is how to do the cover test. Step 1. Pick a distant object to focus on, about 15 feet away. Step 2. Cover your left eye with your hand and focus on the object. Step 3. Move your hand away from your eye and watch the object. If the object appears to move to the right, your right eye is dominant. Once you have identified which eye is dominant, you can use it for shooting. If the dominant eye is not lined up with the sights, then you need to make a few adjustments. You will need to adjust the distance between the sights and the eye and the type of sights you use. It is important to make sure that the sights are adjusted to the eye dominance. Another way to make sure that you have accurate aim is to use a shooting glasses system. This system consists of a camera that is placed on your forehead and a monitor that is held in front of your shooting eye. The camera captures the image of the target and the monitor projects the image onto a piece of glass. This allows the shooter to focus on the projected image rather than the sights. This system is a great way to make sure you have accurate aim. One final way to ensure good shooting accuracy is to practice. You can do dry firing or practice clays to improve your accuracy. The more you practice, the better your shooting ability will become. Testing eye dominance is an important step to making sure your aiming and shooting accuracy is on point. Following the simple tests I outlined today can help you identify your dominant eye and make the necessary adjustments. If you like this video and find it useful, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so you never miss out on any of our awesome content. Show us some love by liking, sharing, and commenting on this video. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching.